Nice. Okay, so you were pointed out to me as a person to talk to. Oh, okay. Well, so what, what's happening today? Um, so today is the 11th Annual Trans Day of Action. So this is a day that we've been doing through Trans Justice at the Audre Lorde Project for 11 years now. Um, and it's basically a recl reclamation of pride. It's a reminder that Stonewall was a riot, that it was started by trans women of color, that this movement has been built on the backs of trans women of color and trans folks. And we want to reclaim the pier and the village as the rightful home of TGNC people who have been kicked out, policed, criminalized, um, and kind of left behind. And so this is our day to reclaim our power. And how many people do you expect? <laughs> um, we are expecting over a thousand folks today. Wow. Yep. And what is that, bigger than any other? Um, yeah, we ha actually had 2,000 people RSVP on Facebook, so we'll see. Oh, well, it yeah, might even be biggest. bigger. Yeah. So. How about any celebs? Do they ever come anywhere near the activists? Um, like Laverne Je Cox endorses every year. Uh -huh, but um, has she ever shown up? Yes, and she oh, shows she up. And Jenna Ma comes, and uh -huh. she also endorses. How about endorses Jenna? Her. No, I've not heard anything from Jenna. <laughs> Not you surprised. mean there are no, there's not a contingent of Republican trans people no, yet? No, actually, shockingly, not yet. So maybe next year we'll see. Yeah, everyone's welcome. I'm of not course, holding right? my breath. But right. Yes, I'm everyone's not, I, I filmed the first trans day of action, awesome. and it was my first video that I put up on YouTube in 2005. Oh, that's amazing. I had Melissa Scar, yes. Rusty Moore, Chelsea, yes. and uh, and uh, Ward, the, the one that now was, I was, as a matter of fact, I was. In that thing they had in the New York Times about how transgender is incredible, because now trans people are making the same progress that gay people made long before. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what is, once you get past the label and meet the people, some of there just aren't quite as many. Yeah. With the gay thing, it got where everybody had a niece, an uncle, a nephew, a brother, yeah. a co-worker who was gay. Yeah. And I think trans people, a lot of people you wouldn't even know they're trans. Especially trans men. Yeah, it's Do you have any idea if there have been any certain? Because somebody made the statement that there were as many trans men as there were trans women, which I thought was quite doubtful. But then again, you almost never spot a trans man. Yeah, it's true. There's definitely differences, right? And like. Um how folks show up in community, but I would say, in my experience, there are just as many trans men as there are trans women. Oh, there are. <clears throat> is there, what is the thing you're calling for specifically? Is this focused on New York State, nationwide, is, uh, amending the, so they only have, passed, they didn't pass it in the U.S. No, no, gender didn't pass. Um, and we're actually more based in like, we're interested in dismantling the major systems that are causing us harm. So our, we have 11 points of unity this year, um, and you can totally check them out there on our website. Um, but basically, and what give the website address. Uh, it's alp.org, and um, basically we're calling for an end to incarceration in prisons. We're calling for legalization for all immigrants. We're calling for fair and equitable housing opportunities. We're calling for an end to employment discrimination. Right. So we really want to target the issues that are. are folks are facing on the ground, right? Um, so what did you think of the profile that was in somewhere? It was trans people that were in the military. The mm, trans yeah. man was standing there with the machine gun, and yeah. they said that, that even though they're serving overseas, that they're still in danger of being dishonorably discharged or something like that yeah. isn't included in the coverage within the U.S. Army yet. Yeah. And I mean, I um, think those are the stories that people that are achieving need to be told. We always hear about the victims, yeah. although there are far too many victims. I mean, Marsha yeah. B. Johnson, my roommate, was yeah. one. I mean, yeah. terrible victims, deadly victims. Totally, yeah. Well, we've lost over 1,700 trans people that we know of just in the past seven years alone. So I think there's like, you know, inclusion into what, like, what are we, what are we striving for in our movement? And for us, we think. Um, there are lots of trans people in Palestine who are impacted by U.S. imperialism and the military. There are a lot of trans people all over the world who are impacted by the United States military How force. about those strange countries? I think of two. Uh, India has a hijab thing where they supposedly are used in ceremony, so their role in society is recognized a little bit, but they still starve to death and have to resort to prostitution. Then you have Iran where because the uh, al Toli said that transsexuals were fine, that male homosexuals are they told you either have a sex, they're forced into transitioning sex if they don't want to be beheaded or, I mean, it's amazing how the transition can cut both ways. I mean, it's used as a weapon. 
and I think it's more so like what, what we're striving for and what we're fighting for and I think this is true for most social justice movements is all of us should have the agency to self-determine who and how we want to be in the world and to not be afraid right and I believe that every human being deserves to feel safe and whoever they are and what their identity is and I think that trans movement is really a demonstration of the intersectional points right we're talking about housing we're talking about health care employment all these issues that a lot of our communities I face. always tell people that, that when you talk about male and female straight and gay when you get into the trans community those labels don't mean anything yeah. anymore because a, a father of two may transition and become a husband yeah. And, and straight people can't get their head around that. Wait a yeah. minute, wait, you mean a guy becomes a woman and he, he still is attracted to women? Who would go, who would stop being a straight man to become a woman? Yeah, on the other hand, a gay man it. goes to being a gay yeah. man to being a woman, he suddenly becomes a heterosexual woman. So it really, I think it's nice because it nuances those things. You can't put yeah. people in these neat little boxes. Exactly, and sexual orientation and gender identity are two separate things. Right, two, people so, do not understand that. They totally. get the two terribly confused. Yeah. Yeah. The New York Times had a statistic. It said 19%, now I don't know how they defined heterosexual. 19% of transsexuals were heterosexual. I have a feeling that they meant that they were like heterosexual in their initial orientation. Either they were men that were born attracted to women, or they were women that were born attracted to men. I think, but do you know anything about where that just dick, I thought that was, I never no, was I able to. No, I have no idea, I've never heard that before, so. It was a New York Times story, so I assume they double checked it from somewhere. I don't know. But ha there are no statistics on trans people except the number that are killed and abused and beaten up. And we're getting more and more data that's coming. So like the National Center for Trans Equality released a report recently. Uh, the Trans Latina Network released a report, re report recently. So we're getting more and more of our folks. I was asked by the uh, famous poll, the uh, political poll. I took it, uh, what's the famous one? Anyway, at the end of the interview about my income and all these things, he said, and there's one more question we'd like to ask you with your permission. Do you identify with the LGBT community? Mm. They put us all together. And that was the first time, you know, like, they know that most gay couples where they live, they know yeah. stuff like that, but they don't have any yeah. idea of the entire community. Well, thank you very much. Yes, thank I you know so you much. have to get a parade yes. underway. I'll put this on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you.